It's a year-long need. 365 days a year, the Shreveport Bossier Rescue Mission is on the front lines, assisting those living in poverty and in need of food. But around Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know that the need becomes even greater. With your support, they can get food in the bellies of those who are in need in our community. 1,300 meals is what they are needing to make this Thanksgiving a less stressful one for many here locally. And Sarah Artis from the Shreveport Bossier Rescue Mission is here to tell us about what we need to do to ensure they can accomplish their goal. Well, Sarah, um, you know, the need never truly goes away right. in the community, right? Like you are in and out, day in and day out, you face this crisis that is ongoing here in our community. But tell us specifically about the need that you guys are seeking right now. Right. So on average, the Shreveport Bossier Rescue Mission serves, depending on the time of year, anywhere between 100 to 150 men, women, and children. But we totally believe that what we do goes beyond just what we do inside the walls of the Shreveport Bossier Rescue Mission. Outreach is incredibly important to us and Thanksgiving provides the perfect opportunity to really expand what we do at the mission outside of the walls. So on Thanksgiving Day alone we will serve 1,300 meals to 1300. families across our community. A lot of times those are people like through the Caddo Council on Aging that are elderly and shut-ins. Those are people that are living um, just above the poverty line are really struggling to get by, especially with inflation. These are really tough times for families, so we're really blessed to be able to provide this at this time of need. And Sarah, let's go ahead and talk about the need that we can start fulfilling right now. So the people on the other side of this screen, what can they be doing today? I know we have a list right there up on your mm -hmm. screen of items that you are in need of. Let's hear about them, Sarah. Yeah, so the biggest needs that we have right now are for those um, items like the ready to eat dinner rolls and the assorted desserts. You know, we can't take those items too early. They're perishable. Correct. So uh, with the desserts too, this is a fun way they can be store-bought or homemade. So if you got grandma's pie, recipe and you want to share it with the community, man, that's a great time to do it. We also need volunteer drivers. So this is a great opportunity to um, bring the whole family out and help deliver meals to families in need. So if you want to volunteer with your family, all you have to do is show up to the mission at 901 McNeil Street between 830, 845. We'll give you a packet with information on where to deliver those meals. Okay. We'll load those meals into your car. You just use your smart device to help give you navigation and you get to bless families and need all throughout Shreveport Bossier. A thousand meals will go out into our community on Thanksgiving Day and really make an impact and make a difference. Sarah, I want to dissect this for a second. Okay, so families just show up. They don't need to call. They don't mm -hmm. need to register. They, nope. just, they, they just come as they are. Yep. They just show up and say they have an hour. Say they have yep. one hour of time that they can donate and they're saying, give me three different meals yeah. to deliver. Is that yeah. how it Yeah, works? exactly. Everybody starts off with uh, two packets. So you're going to get two households okay. to deliver to. Um, you can follow us on Facebook. We're going to do a Facebook Live the day of. So if you have additional time and you want to come back to the mission and help some more, you can. Or if that's all you can do for the day, hey, that's that's an impact for two families here in our community. So whatever time frame that you have, there is something for you to do and make an impact in our cities. So there's multiple ways to give back, right, mm -hmm. Sarah? We have, you can donate the canned items that right. you were requesting. You can do the perishable items. So that's mm -hmm. the bread, that's the homemade right. pies as yeah. well. Because some people think that they can't make homemade ones, you know, because right. they don't know what's in them. But right. you were saying, bring them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, bring them and, it, you know, just mark on the outside if there's any nuts or anything like that, just so we can mark any allergies or anything like that. But yeah, it's a really fun way, and especially to get the kids involved. If you like yeah. to, bake, to get, bake together with your kids, it's a fun way to do that and bless people in our city. I was going to say, not only have fun with your kids, but actually yeah. be a positive example for the kids to show them, you know, this is what we should be doing. Absolutely. You know, my good friend over at the DA, Brittany Green, says that this is a community problem, which mm -hmm. deserves a community-wide response. And I'm saying that to this situation because it's very much so applicable. Absolutely. That That is a really great way of putting it. Um, I read an article in the times. I mean, Shreveport has an incredibly high poverty mm -hmm. rate. Um, the reality is we have several people in our community that are one step away from homelessness that are winding up in our door. And inflation and other things that are happening just make this more prevalent. So we want people to know that the mission is here. And um, if you need our services, please call us and we would be happy and honored to serve you. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for being here today and for talking to us about this. Again, I'm asking from my own heart to help us fill this need here. We do have a poverty issue and, you know, we can collectively help, you know, combat this problem together. Um, so if you feel called to donate your resources, your time, your finances, um, if you feel that you can bake a few pies, I know that they will gladly take those off of your hands.